Hi there, my name is Brian Red. Welcome to part two of Wedding DJ Help for Brides and Grooms. Now before we get into the video itself, I just wanted to throw something out there for you to think about while you're watching. Now as brides and grooms, the last thing you want is to have an unsuccessful wedding reception. Now if you have a good experienced DJ, the last thing your DJ wants is for you to have an unsuccessful wedding reception. So please keep that in mind while you're watching. Enjoy. Now, I know the title of this video has to do with the music, but what it's really about are objectives. And uh, I'll explain. When I meet with a client, one of the first questions I ask is, what is your objective for the evening? And sometimes they look at me kind of puzzled and say, well, what do you mean? So, well, what I mean is, what is your vision for your wedding reception? What would you like to see happen? And most people, and I mean 99% of all people, say, well, we just want everyone to have a good time. So we've established the objective for the evening. We want everyone to have a good time. I'm big on analogies, so I'm going to give you one right now. Let's say that you were having some friends over for a meal. And let's say they were your college pals. And whenever you and your college pals get together, you always get real spicy hot wings and microbrew beer, and it's a big hit, and you all have a good time. Well, that's great. But let's say that you were having a party at your house, and not only were your college buddies coming over, but so was pretty much everyone else you knew. Uh, your mom, your dad, your grandma and grandpa, aunts and uncles, your sister, her husband, and their kids. Everybody was coming over. Do you think that uh, spicy hot wings and microbrewed beer would work for everyone? Well, probably not. You would want more of a variety of food to offer your guests, especially since you invited them. You might as well offer them something they like. Kids like hot dogs. Uh, let's say Aunt Vicky is a vegetarian, you're going to have to have some fruits and veggies there. That gets a little confusing though. So maybe uh, in a perfect world, what you could do is hire a chef to come to your house who could prepare virtually anything that anybody wanted. Well, that's kind of what a DJ is. And what often happens is that brides and grooms want to do long playlists for DJs with the music that works for them in their peer group or take songs out of what would normally be uh, something that would work really well at your party simply because you didn't like them. For instance, line dances. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, folks. Most DJs out there hate line dances. I don't care what line dance it is, but they hate them. In fact, most DJs hate a large percentage of the music that they play at every party but it really doesn't have anything to do with what the DJ likes. What it has to do is what works for your party, what your guests like. A lot of times I get don't playlists from brides and grooms and a lot of times, uh, very often, the too cool for school clients will say no line dances at my wedding reception. I don't like them. And you get there and the aunts and the cousins and even the bridesmaids are looking at you like, why aren't you playing the electric slide? Why aren't you playing it? And uh, it's really hard to, uh, I guess, put the blame on the bride or the groom, but ultimately that's where it goes. Uh, why are these songs important for some parties? They're important for some parties because sometimes that's the only song people will get up to and get warmed up to. Basically, if you can sacrifice, I don't know, three minutes of your life to a song that you hate, the remainder of the three hours and 57 minutes of your party could go a lot smoother. So it's not always about what you like. you got to think about what your guests like as well. So my advice to brides and grooms to be would be to please let the DJ know what you like. Please inform the DJ what your college buddies like and maybe even what your parents like. But don't tie their hands behind their backs. If there are songs that you absolutely don't want played at the party for completely legitimate reasons, please let the DJ know. For instance, if this is your second marriage, you probably don't want the song that was played for your first dance at your, of your first marriage at this wedding reception. That's a perfectly legitimate please don't play. But uh, no line dances because you don't like them. Maybe that's not such a legitimate don't play. And sometimes or a lot of times, I guess, I don't even have to play the line dances. A lot of the parties that I do, we have a lot of self-starters, and I'm able to go out there and kind of get everyone involved, 
I don't need the line dances. But sometimes you just do, especially if you got a tough crowd. So that's my advice for you today. Uh, I hope it helped. If you have any questions, you can always uh, leave a comment down here in the comment section or email me at briansred at djtutor.com. Good luck with planning your wedding reception.